From the killings in Tana River to the explosions that have rocked the capital's Isli area, personal safety and security of the country's millions has never been a talking point as it has in the recent past. The Tana River killings whose numbers have worried the local and international community raise serious concerns. Despite government assurance backed by top delegations flying into the troubled delta, dozens of innocent lives continue to be lost to armed raiders. With the grueling campaign period and the general election like no other, just weeks away, security agencies are walking a tightrope, securing those out to campaign and making sure that those to carry out their normal duties are equally safeguarded. A 66,000 strong regular administration police force is what it took to ring off polling centers across the country during the party primaries, leaving an estimated 20,000 police officers to run daily general duties. I'm 100% sure that we shall be able to have a free and fair general election on 4th of March 2013. But the newly appointed Inspector General of Police lacks two crucial pillars in policing. Experts have warned that this could complicate matters further if they are not in place as the country enters the final phase of political campaigns. The President is yet to appoint a Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the Administration Police Service and one to be in charge of the regular police service. The two crucial appointments will allow the two commanders to run the affairs of the National Police Service. We forwarded the names as the law requires. So uh, we are also anxiously waiting for the appointment of the two deputies. And we believe it will be soon. Yes, we know there's been this issue about the credibility on one of the candidates. But I don't think that should be the, the reason why the other two candidates who have no problems with their character and integrity not to assume their positions because of one character. And if it must be done, the Kenya Defense Forces to substantively supplement police action. The latest revelation from Vigilance House raises the weighty question of whether the force is equal to the task of managing the March 4th general elections. You cannot be on top of things when killings are taking place every now and then. You cannot be on top of things when you cannot even identify some of your own who died in Baragoi and the, their families have not been given the remains or even be shown or be told that this is a person who was part of the contingent. You cannot be on top of things when you have not recovered the nine guns stolen in Tana River. And when we look at the police, we don't look at them like friends, you know, the community angels who are coming to help us. We look at the police as enemies. When we see GSU, when we see the army, we sense trouble. Yeah, so there's a, that mistrust which has, you know, evolved over time. And the problem with that is that when the security apparatus come in to help, we end up plotting against them, like happened in Paraguay, you know, and, and maybe something is more sinister than the fact that they are there to try and restore the peace. It's like somebody is not interested in restoring that peace. Security, security, nyakumba nyumba, nakuwati wakufe kwa nyumba, what is? The revenge attacks witnessed two weeks ago in Madare, which was the epicenter of police operations in July 2007 and the theater of violence during the 2008 post-election violence as security agencies worried. The neighboring Isli estate has not been spared either. The numbers of those killed has declined in the recent past, but experts are warning that some quarters could exploit the lull. The Baragoi massacre, the worst in recent policing, has also thrust the Rift Valley region into the limelight of insecurity. The Rift has the largest number of security personnel in the country, but sporadic attacks pitting worrying communities as agencies worried. Experts warn the trend is not about to change. There's a huge problem in this country called ethnicity and just the perception that so-and-so is from this ethnic group and therefore supporting so-and-so, which might not even be true, is enough you know, to, to invite violence. Securing the electioneering period is not the only agenda 
on the entry of the Inspector General of Police. Homegrown terrorism that has claimed more than 100 lives since 2012 is yet another demanding task. Mombasa County that neighbors the troubled Tana River County has been at the center of acts of terror. The dust may have settled, but security agencies are still on high alert. Then there is the reality that police numbers compared to security needs might be a real challenge. Securing polling centers in the March 4th general elections will be one task. Making sure those who will have voted or heading to vote are secure is a different challenge the police force will have to deal with. Dinson Sarigo, KTN Sunday Night.